And so the Delian League became the Athenian Empire. And Themistocles, like all who become great in Athens, suffered his fall. Exiled from his home by jealous rivals, he ended up volunteering his services to none other than the great king of Persia, who reasoned that the Persians' greatest foe might prove their most useful servant. So Themistocles ended his days a loyal subject of the Mede. As I said, great men rarely meet great ends. Decades passed. The Athenian Empire grew to new heights under the wise statesman Pericles, who governed with his beloved Aspasia at his side. Athens, burnt to a husk mere decades earlier, was now a marvelous metropolis, resplendent in glittering marble, prosperous and confident. The city of Athena nurtured a golden age of art, philosophy, and architecture. But the days when Athens fought side by side with Sparta were long gone. Greece fractured into two great powers, the Athenian Empire and the Peloponnesian League circling each other like yellow-eyed wolves. One hardly needed the foresight of Apollo to see that war was coming. On land, none could resist the Spartans, whose men devoted their whole lives to war. At sea, the Athenian fleet was unmatched, and with Athens connected to its port by a set of long walls, the navy could feed the city indefinitely should any foe attempt a siege. All Greece held its breath, like an audience that awaits the arrival of a tragic chorus, knowing that things both great and terrible are about to unfold. Everybody inside the walls, back to the city. The people are safe for now, but they will surely become discontent soon, cooped up here while their farms are burned. You must do all you can, my love, to stay in power. Athens needs you. Kaire. Hey, Kondia. Ostagmata. You shut our people in as though they are frightened lambs! They won't abide your cowardice much longer! When I take your place, Pericles, Athens will carve a bloody trail to Sparta!
people grow dangerously restless. If they are not appeased, they might turn to rioting. The Corinthians will try to snatch the tribute shipments sent by our allies. Protect the convoys! The treasury is running rather low. Loath as I am to suggest it, we could unload some gold from the statue of Athena. The people cry out for vengeance against these Spartan marauders. We shall prepare a fleet and send it to ravage the Peloponnesian coast. The people riot! Quick, this must be quelled, either through gold or through force. Etoimos! On the last battle! We shall have order, even if it means bodies in the streets. The rioters are dead. A dark day for Athens. Heracles, a guest friend of the Spartan king, don't forget, allows the Spartans to ravage your fields year after year, and yet his own estate remains untouched. Zephyros, Notos, gracious winds, accept this offering of frankincense. Bear these brave sailors onwards. The time to celebrate the Panathenaic festival is upon us. And what better way to unify the people? From the Keramikos to the Acropolis, the streets resound with joyous hymns. Be 
Behold, Athenians, how Pericles glorifies the Acropolis, as Athena once blessed this summit with the gift of the olive tree. Pericles gives you monuments of marble. Without our support, Oinoe will surely fall. We must reinforce the garrison. Tribute from the Empire. See that it arrives safely. return from the Peloponnese laden with loot. of a sea onion and the mind of a donkey! Not content to urge the Spartans to war with us, now the Corinthians swarm our shipping lanes. Smash these interlopers! Let the people of Oinoe attest, Athens is a loyal friend to its allies.
Spartan camps on our land. We should torch these and sate the people's anger. Leave our land, you dog-faced wretches! A sight indeed. Sacred Eleusis swarming with Spartans. The Spartans return to harry our fields. If you value your lives, get inside the walls. Haired Poseidon, relish the sweet smoke rising from the thighs of these black bulls. We honor you, that you might smile on our endeavors. Look beyond the walls, men. Heracles invites the Spartans to eat your food, relax in your farmhouses, and spit in your hearths. Unrest has spilled into the streets. We cannot allow this to continue. Kaire. Eto moy eso. Word is that the Spartans are preparing to attack Salamis. We must send aid. Order! We shall have order! Even if it means bodies in the streets! Order! We shall have order! Even if it means bodies in the streets! Leon uses the courts against his enemies. Let's do the same to him and tie him up in legal proceedings. You prosecute me? You'll regret this, Pericles! You and that wicked-tongued concubine! Oh! 
Behold, defenders of Salamis! Recall the deeds of Themistocles and hold! Our allies send tribute. Escort the ships to the Piraeus. Our sailors return from the Peloponnese laden with loot. Plataea is a bulwark, not only against Sparta, but Thebes too. We ought to aid them in the defense of their city. Salamis is saved. See, Athenians? Heracles is a leader worthy to follow in the footsteps of Themistocles. The election fast approaches. You must recover the favor of the people. Once more, we are called to glorify Athena. Prepare the Panathenaic procession. I hear terrible things about an affliction taking hold in the Piraeus. Oozing pustules, bloody tongues, fetid breath. Dance, sing, rejoice, good people of Athens. Today, races and wrestling. Tonight, poetry and music. Ask yourselves this, fellow citizens. Is it Pericles who rules Athens, or his scheming concubine? Go forth to Plataea. May we aid them in their hour of need as they aided us at Marathon. You came for Attica, but I shall send you to Hades. Yes, 
Thank you, citizens. I will be honored to serve you as Strategos once again, Poseidon, master of dolphins and lord of the waves. See our brave sailors return safely. Tiestin, Tyre, Oyeso. Crossbarrow! Don't let the Corinthians steal our tribute. Pericles can protect neither the fields of Athens nor the ships of our allies. Oh, boy. What evils Apollo visits upon the city. Plague. Rancid plague. Men crazed with thirst throw themselves into wells. Women cough and wheeze and spew foul bile. For this victory, Athena, accept our thanks. And the red cloaks we shall hang in your temple. We must get rid of the plague victims' bodies. Fetch kindling. We have done all we can, but the ravages of Apollo are not easily quelled. Return from the Peloponnese. Oh, how few remain. Spartans prepare for another attack on Salamis. Anyone who's been spoiling for a fight, this is your chance. Yeah. 
Justin? Voy a irse. Hey, buen día. ¿Estalmata? ¿Eh? Píteles. Bueno. Uncertain times, an oracle may reassure our frightened people. The Spartans come for our fields again. Gather what goods and livestock you can and retreat inside the walls. See how the people celebrate. At last, a victory on Attic soil. Father Zeus, we give thanks for this victory. The pick of the spoils shall be yours. Defend Salamis! I shall not allow the sight of our greatest victory to fall into enemy hands. Pericles lets the Spartans do as they wish with Attica. Next, he'll be inviting King Archidamus along for meals at the Prytaneum. Salamis is safe. You fought like mighty Ajax himself. Brave warriors. Keep up your good work, my love. You are on course to be re-elected again. People together in celebration, Pericles. It is time for the Panathenaia. Hector, 
Nei, por ti. Y este no tuvo. Estás matando. Caire, eh, fuma. Bueno, y te lees, eh. Nei, por ti. Take the ceremonial coppice and divide the warm meat among the joyful people. Aspasia cavorts with women of ill repute, educates sophists and revolutionaries, and advocates for surrender! Stagmata. Nay, por dia. Citizens, I am honored that you would vote for me again. <coughs> but my body is racked with pains. Oi, my talas. <coughs> Someone fetch a physician. Don't go, my love. 